Welcome, 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 beautiful Paris Saint-Germain family. A lot of people, including myself, have been asking the question, is Kylian Mbappé a number nine a striker or is he a winger, a left winger? That's exactly what we're going to be going through in this video. But to answer that question, you have to go back to Kylian Mbappé and where his Paris Saint-Germain journey started. Kylian Mbappé obviously joined Paris Saint-Germain in the 17-18 season and the manager at that time was Unai Emery. Unai Emery lined up with Neymar Jr., Edinson Cavani, and Kylian Mbappé as a right winger in that first season. Next season, Thomas Tuchel came in and he immediately said, Mbappé is now winger, Mbappé is a forward. And he started playing pretty much a 4-2-2-2 with Neymar and Di Maria as wide creators and Cavani and Mbappé in central areas. Obviously then Neymar got injured and then Tuchel started to experiment and try out new things. He played Di Maria as a 10 with Mbappé and Cavani up front of him. He played Cavani up, up front and Mbappé as a left winger and Di Maria on the right. Then Cavani got injured and Kylian Mbappé finally got to play as the number 9 at Paris Saint-Germain. Di Maria on the left, Dani Alves on the right and Kylian Mbappé up front. Next season, not that much changed apart from Mauro Icardi being brought in and Cavani now being a starter for Paris Saint-Germain and they started calling this the Fantastic Four. Again, Neymar and Di Maria as the wide playmakers and Icardi and Mbappé in the central areas. And then, the season after that, Thomas Tuchel got sacked in January and Pochettino came in. And Pochettino made Kylian Mbappé into an absolute animal. A hat -trick performance versus FC Barcelona. Mbappé played on the left. But his performance versus Bayern, scoring two goals with Italia Sarena, he played up front. And what we took away from that season is that Kylian Mbappé will be impactful wherever you put him in the attack. And the season after that, the 21-22 season, we all remember it extremely well. Kylian Mbappé dropping 39 goals, 26 assists in only 46 games for Paris Saint-Germain in all competitions. Ending as the league and top scorer and top assister at the end of the season. And he obviously he had the memorable performances versus Real Madrid in the round of 16. The first one lining up alongside Messi and Di Maria and the second one lining up alongside Neymar Jr. and Lionel Messi. But throughout the season he was mostly played as a left forward or as a left winger and that was worked out extremely well and this is still Kylian Mbappé's most impactful seasons when it comes to goals and assists. Poch got sacked and Christophe Galtier came in as the new manager for the 2022-2023 season and he played Neymar and Messi as the two playmakers with Kylian Mbappé alone at top. Mbappé though did not like this. Obviously he posted the Instagram hashtag pivot gang which we all remember too well and then went on international duty and he had this to say i play differently with france i'm also other things here compared to with my club i have a lot of more freedom here the coach knows that there is a number nine like olivier who occupies the defenses and i can walk around and go into space in paris is different there isn't that i am asked to do the pivot it is different obviously Kylian Mbappé straight up just complaining about not liking to play that role and what we as fans took away from this is Mbappe doesn't want to play as a nine Mbappe wants to play as a winger and then this season came the 2023 2024 season Di Maria have left Messi have left Neymar has left Icardi has left and Cavani is left and a new attack was brought into Paris Saint-Germain with the likes of Randall Kulumani, Gonzalo Ramos, Osman Dembele and Bradley Barcola two wingers and two strikers and in the beginning of the season Lucha tried out Mbappe on the wing Colomani up top and Dembele on the wing he also tried with Gonzalo up top and obviously where we are at this moment Barcola as the winger and Kylian Mbappe as the number nine and my answer after going through all of this is that Mbappe will be impactful wherever he plays but his two preferred positions are as a left forward and as a number nine and that's exactly the words of Thomas Tuchel Kylian Mbappé is not a winger in my opinion, he's a forward, he wants to score goals, we want him to score goals, everybody wants Kylian Mbappé to score goals. So what we've learned is that Kylian Mbappé will be impactful whether he's a striker or as a left forward. He's gotten goals, assists, everything in both positions. So. What position suits the team best? Because for me, that is the right question. The question isn't, is Mbappe a striker or left winger? He can play both extremely well. The question is, what is the absolute most optimal decision for Paris Saint-Germain? First of all, let's look at offensive play. 
Obviously, the right side, which has been elite this season, Osman Dembele and Ashraf Hakimi. 11 shot creating actions per 90 this season. And they've had 22 goal involvements so far this season for Paris Saint Germain in all competition, which is the highest by two players for one same club. So we want Mbappe closer to that right side. If that's the most dangerous side in Europe, Obviously, we want Mbappe closer to it and not by himself there on the left. Second of all, obviously, we want Kylian Mbappe to be touching the ball. Mbappe is the best player in the world. We want the ball at his feet. And I've looked up the stats where Kylian Mbappe has been playing as a left winger for Paris Saint-Germain and compared him to the recent games where he's been playing as a striker. And as you can see, it's very clear. 48 touches as a winger, 69 touches as a striker. 30 out of 48 touches in the attacking third compared to 50 to 69. And that is a 62% percentage of his touches coming in the attacking third compared to 72 percent in the attacking third whilst playing as a striker what we clearly can take away from this is that offensively it's much better playing Kylian Mbappe centrally why he's closer to the elite side of Osman Dembele and Ashraf Hakimi who create pretty much over 60 70 percent of all of Paris Saint-Germain chances this season and second of all he's more involved in the game when he's up top he can get passes from the center from the right and the left when he's at left it's mostly Lucas moving the ball to him or it's Vitinha but as a striker he can move on he can go to the right he can switch with Barcola he can do a lot of many different stuff and the last thing that is also really important is defensive structure for Paris Saint-Germain we obviously know Kylian Mbappe doesn't like to press and that's completely fine with me because those are the superstar players they don't press they save all of their energy for the attack for the goals for the playmaking for everything offensively I don't want him to press I don't want him to waste his energy but this season when he did play as a left winger sometimes he costed us and obviously versus Newcastle 2 nil down second half started Kylian Mbappe as you can see here, out of position doesn't move with Trippier who makes that really good run Trippier receives the ball gives it in a beautiful space to Longstaff and Longstaff score and that all comes off Kylian Mbappe not doing the defensive duty he's meant to be doing all right in front of you here I have three different shapes for Paris Saint-Germain to defend obviously in the beginning of the season we played this 4-4-2 with Mbappe up top it's not the best for pressing and again sometimes it switches with Barcola or the player that's playing on the left that's exactly what happened versus Newcastle. And you can see it costed us a goal in that game. The second one, obviously, is playing a 4-3-3 with Mbappe as a winger. But again, Mbappe has to defend those wide spaces. And he would not be doing that. So the best and most optimal one is the one we're playing at the moment with Mbappe as a number nine. Because what that means is we can defend in a 4-5-1 with Dembele and Barcola dropping deep into the midfield. Kylian Mbappe is absolutely unknown up top. And this helps us press so much better. But he said have been one of the best pressing teams this season. And one of the main reasons to that is that Lucha has found how to get Mbappe into the pressing game which will not cost us defensive. To summarize everything we've gone through we've realized that Kylian Mbappe can play anywhere on the pitch and still be extremely impactful but what's best for the absolute team is that Kylian Mbappe is a number nine. He's closer to the right side and he doesn't have to do the defensive duty that a winger usually has to do. And Kylian Mbappe, we want him to be involved in the game. And the best way to get him involved is to be playing him as a number nine. Hopefully, I've been able to brainwash you to believe that Kylian Mbappe's best position is a number nine. But let me know in the comments down below if you disagree with my opinion and why should Mbappe be playing as a winger in your opinion. That's been it for your boy PSG. And as usual, allez, allez, allez Paris.